Welcome to 10 Things Series, the 10 Things Series. The title of this presentation is called 10 Plus One Things to Jumpstart Your Online Empire. 10 and One Things to Stop. Jumpstart jump start Your Online Empire. Well, if you don't like the word empire, you could also say 10 plus one things to jumpstart your online business and earn more money. Yes. So, this uh, presentation is uh, good for both IBM SaaS and people who are not yet, uh, yet uh, joined IBM C. I remember IBM Sir Mary that sent me a, a text message which read, please, is it possible for you to come up with a step-by-step -step, uh, formula for success in IBM C? It would go a long way to guide members, even after the course, even if we have to buy it. So that's it. I was really, um, well, I, I didn't understand the request immediately because we have this 10, I mean, the seven step internet business success formula. And, uh, but the more I thought about it, I said, what exactly is, the, is this uh, question? Or request all about and I thought that that when I thought about it I said okay maybe there's something missing and that's how I came up with the 10 things series 10 things series the 10 additional things you need to do to really jump start you might know a lot of things and uh, but you don't really know how to get um, go about it so that is how we came up with this so let's jump straight away I I said, they decided and took action. These people decided and took action. Therefore, my 10 steps with, starts with decide. We have more than 100 people that have jumped into IBM C. Of course, I'm not even talking about the VWC. More than 100 people that have joined uh, IBM C. And they decided. Something in them propelled them to decide, to move, to move ahead, to decide, to jump in, to do something to alter their destiny. And uh, I remember one of my mentors once said, you must be willing to do today what others will not do in order to have tomorrow what they will not have. So these people decided to do today in order for them to have tomorrow what others will not have. These are IBM science. What did they do in took action? They joined the course. They put their hands in their pocket and started to pay and joined IBMC. So I, I believe that these steps, the 10 steps I'm going to share with you will guide you, propel you forward to build your empire. Well, if you don't like the word empire, to make more money. So let's get started. Number one step is you must just decide. You must decide. There are three ways of deciding. Either you do self-help, what we call DIY, do it yourself, or you find a training learning that will enable you to move from here to there or you get a personal coach of course getting a coach is far far more more expensive is uh, not very affordable for everybody so training and learning Le looking for a relevant training a relevant learning that can change the the, the, the you are understanding how the world is evolving, the world of courses, the world of industry, the world of business. Business is changing. It's not just changing. It's changing so rapidly that what was even fashionable yesterday is no more fashionable today. The old items keep changing. So the more you stand by the by the website, the more you stand and uh, put your hands as symbol, and the world just passes you by. So you need to jump in. DIY is not always the best. DIY is not always the best because it, it could be the penny wise pound foolish. Because if you do it yourself, something they can understand in one hour can take you three days. Something they can understand in one month can take you one full year. So the best thing is to find a relevant training and jump in and start to learn. Okay? Everybody can find a relevant training. It's just for you to. to dig deeper inside you do audit what do i need to know to be able to remain relevant in the current dispensation and i said the second is get exposure 
get exposure. How do you get exposure? Don't forget step two in the internet business uh, uh, mastery course, step two in the internet business uh, success formula is be visible on and offline. Be visible. How do you be uh, how do you uh, how do you get visible? You cannot just finish the course and then close your uh, your, your notebook and just believe that yes, miracle will happen. No, in fact, the beginning of the, the end of the course is the beginning of the approach. Because the course gives gives you just the, the tools, the raw tools, the raw understanding. Now you have to implement, you have to execute. So get exposure. How do you get exposure? Supposing people go to search in Google, will your name come up? Supposing I say Poluduk on Google, what will come up? So it begins with you doing things that Google will understand that we, Google will start to take notice, okay? What of YouTube? What of Pinterest? Not to talk of this, the uh, Google and YouTube and Pinterest are search engines in their own right. They're search engines. Are those search engines finding you? What are you doing to be noticed by those search engines? And then social media. What are you doing on social media? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. Are you are just posting things there to show today, today I ate chicken. Or yesterday I was in one bed party and things like that. Well, there, there are many E's in uh, social media. One of the E's is entertainment. But I prefer the educational E. I, I, I'm on, on um, Facebook for education. I'm on Instagram for education. I'm on Twitter for education. I'm on LinkedIn for education. Well, there are other, there, there are other E's. Some people prefer more of the entertainment aspect of it. But as a, somebody that has joined, somebody that has joined uh, IDMC. I believe that you should face the education aspect because that is what will put money in your pocket. And then, I also talk about listening posts. Listening posts are those those that uh, those uh, uh, how do I call it? How do I call it? There are platforms. There are platforms. There are platforms out there that. You go to find out what people are thinking, what people are saying, what people are feeling. So one of them, that's why we call the listening post. You just go there to uh, feel the pulse of what people are thinking, what people are saying, what people are feeling, and so on and so forth. Which opinions are going somewhere or that way. So one of them is Quora, a place where people go to ask questions. People just go to Quora. They, they can say, if the head is round, why don't people fall and the head is moving? So questions like that. So when you are on, on such platforms, you try to answer questions in area you are an authority. That is how listening posts will bring exposure to you. And then do go guest posting. For instance, I have my own uh, website. I have my own blog. As a member of IBMC, you can come and post on uh, my blog if you don't have your own website. So guest posting. Assuming I have 10,000 followers. I, assuming I have 10,000 subscribers. And you post on my uh, blog, on my website. Definitely, 10% of those people, I, assuming that I have 10,000, uh, 10, 10 of them will see you, will see your post. Will, at least 10% will see. And that will give you exposure. And then you can do your podcast. Some people are doing podcasts. Some people are doing podcasts. I remember uh, some of our members are doing podcasts. Some of our members are doing podcasts. And uh, it's just need, you just need to start. You don't need to be perfect from day one. Just start. What are podcasts? Which area do you have passion for that you can start? That you can start to podcast. And the technologies for podcasting are so, so simple these days. You can even use your, your phone to, to do podcasts. I recently bought a, a microphone, and it cost me less than uh, 1,000 naira. And uh, the, uh, I realized that I could even use it for podcasting. And then offline. You can also get exposure by o o offline, by going to radio, by going to TV, by going to newspapers. Number one thing that we, 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 we teach in um, IBM is to seek media exposure, seek media attention. Do not just wait that somebody will discover you. Go out there and let people know that you exist. And then decide who you serve. Point three, decide who you serve. Do not, you are not going to save everybody in the market. You are not going to save everybody in the market. You must have a target audience. One of the questions we ask is, who do you serve? Who do you serve? 
Who do you serve? So you must decide. You cannot be all things to all men. So decide. I want to help. For instance, Poludu, IBMC. My target, our target is to help people to understand. I'm talking about beginners, newbies, to understand how to do business online. Those are my target market. My target market. To help people, beginners, know what to do, know how to get started online. When once you know, you know how to start it, now you can now scale. You can go to other platforms to learn more deeper. But my target market for now are beginners. So how do you how do you decide your target market? One of them is uh, to have do, do do research, find out what people want. Even in Quora, when you are in Quora and you listen to what people say, you can also go to Google and Google how to do this, how to do that, and see how many uh, how many hits. For instance. How to, let me just say that, uh, how to write books. I can go to Google and say how to write books. If I Google how to write books, I can get maybe 20 million, uh, 20 million hits in how many seconds? So you know that, yes, there's a market in that area, how to write books and so on and so forth. That's how you do. So you do research, you know how to use research tools, and then you can also draw up what we call the customer avatar, the customer avatar, your customer profile. What type of customer are you looking for? What age? What area? What psychographics? What demographics? All those things must be put into play. And, some, and most of the time, of course, we take these things for granted. We just believe that, okay, let me set up a course. And, uh, and uh, uh, lo and behold, people will, 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 uh, will uh, join the course, will uh, like the course. But the best way is always to carry out research. I research and by so doing, it's a time consuming, it's a very, very time consuming, and it can be a little bit frustrating. But that is the best approach to do research and then draw up a customer ambassador. The customer, the type of person that you are looking for for this course, the age, the gender, the, the, the demographics, where they live, and their income bracket, psychographics, the type of uh, the type of uh, passion they have, the type of uh, whatever, everything. By the time you put this in place, gives you an idea. Because even you, 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 along the line, you might decide to, to advertise. When you advertise, you have to tell Facebook, for instance, YouTube, for instance, tell the algorithm, the type of people you are looking for, so that they will now know where to go and put your, your, your adverts for the people to see. Then... Number four, build email. You must have an email list because, as we say uh, in uh, IBMC, your email list is your most important asset, your email list. So use the right tools to build your list. Use the right approach and then be persistent. Persistence is the key. Of course, if uh, you can send a, a text messages, uh, WhatsApp messages, uh, emails to somebody for 10 times. And the person does not even open it. Doesn't even bother to open. And you keep persisting. And then one day, someone say, "Ah, this guy has been sending me this thing. What exactly is it all about? Let me check." I've had instances where people say, "Paul, God bless you for not giving up on me because you have been pressuring me on this thing for many years, for many months. I never even bothered to even uh, check. So today I checked, and I believe that this is exactly for me. That is how it works. So you have to keep building your list and then segment them." Depending, because you have drawn up your customer avatar, based on that avatar, you cannot segment. These are these are the type of people that are looking for this. This set of people are looking for this. This set of people for uh, looking for this, and then you you now um, now program your communication accordingly to address the different uh, interests that you have. So that's why I said right tools, right approach, and then persistence. So there's no other thing. There's no secret about it. When once you follow this uh, procedure, when once you follow this uh, uh, way, the process, the process, there is, you cannot cheat the process. You cannot cheat the process. The process will uh, yield results when once you follow it. So that is why we talk about algorithm. The algorithm is programmed to deliver results according to what you put in. When once the algorithm is happy with you, it will give you the right result. And then I say, Create your first product. Don't forget, we said that your mailing list is your number one asset, your mailing list, which is number two, is your product, your product. 
because they are the two sides of the same coin product and list product and list if you have a lot of products you don't have no list then zero if you have a lot of lists and then no product see zero of course along the along the continuum um, when you become more mature more experienced you can you 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 can sell without having products because you can sell other people's products but as a beginner you will not understand those strategies so i encourage all my students to develop their own product even if you are making money from affiliate marketing don't forget the the, the person doing the affiliate thing also wants to make money he might give you 30 percent 40 percent 50 percent even 60 percent but when you sell your own product don't forget you keep all the money by yourself so say the thing right right segment right tools and right approach okay the first thing is for you to understand that you don't have to build a perfect product from day one you don't have to build a perfect product from day one you must have what we call a minimum viable product so start with a minimum viable product like ibm say i just had an idea yes so people are interested in this thing i did not re really know that people were interested and then one of the my friends called me and said paul i'm interested in this do you know i said i was even trying to run i said i just know he keeps saying that as i've been seeing what you do online I, I i want you to teach me and then that's how ibm just started started with just uh, uh, developing the curriculum on the go i developed the curriculum on the go and along the line of course some people say oh paul this uh, curriculum doesn't have any uh, does not have a structure so i had to structure it i had to restructure it restructure it and it became became better and better and better so entry level product and then how are you going to host them how are you going to um, Direct, send them to people we are going to talk about it in subsequent uh, uh, steps so let's uh, go the uh, step six i said launch events don't forget the all these things we are talking about is for you to build relationships for you to be uh, have exposure online and offline okay so for launching events will enable people offline to see you not just launching events, not necessarily your own events, which we call them. Um, you can also speak on other people's platforms. You can attend conferences, attend webinars, attend summits, and also uh, when you are attending, try to uh, try to reach out to the to the organizer. Say I would like to speak, and then if they do, if they say, oh sorry, it's too late, you, we have already finished the whole uh, arrangement. You can tell them, okay, um, get prepared for uh, the Q and A. And when somebody asks question that you know very well, jump up. And if you don't know, just add something. Somebody speaks and say, okay, I want to add to what the whole essence is for people to also see you, to have your own one minute uh, under the sun, one minute uh, uh, greatness under the sun. So do not just go to a webinar, or go to a meeting, go to a seminar, go to a conference summit, and just stay there quietly and return home without saying a word. Then that will not give you the exposure. So exposure must be offline and online. Online, join groups, join groups, join groups on Facebook. I've seen some of our members, Pio Williams, for instance, but join groups, uh, uh, Binta, for instance. Very few people, uh, Femi, Kola Joe, uh, we have OCNA, OCNA, O-C-C-N-A, online course communities, online course creators communities for newbies and advanced beginners. Less than 10% of IBM sites have joined, and I keep asking them, please join, please join. And then I said, launch events offline, online, and then scout for partners. These are what we call JVs, joint partners. Yes, do not just go everything alone. Look for people that you can partner with. Look for people that you can partner with. People in, a little bit higher than you in the hierarchy. All right, let's move to seven, launch your website. Yes, I said that website is not the most important thing. But along the line, you need a website because website enables people to see you. And a, 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 a website boosts your credibility and capital. Anywhere you go today, the first thing they ask is, do you have a website? Do you have a website? But website will not put money in your pocket. I've had website for more than 10 years. I never made money from my website. Maybe because I did not know how to use my website. I didn't know how to exploit my website. But website is, is a necessary at the a necessary evil. Yes. Because if they ask you, do you have a website? And you say, I don't have a website. People will just say that maybe you are just an, uh, an amateur. You do not know what you are doing. And once the people say, ah, this guy has a website. 
And of course, the website is not really, um, it's not about the beauty, it's about the functionality. So have the right personnel, look for a good webmaster, and then let them approach it with the right approach. The right approach is simply that your website should be optimized for SEO. You should have a lot of things. You should have uh, meta descriptions. And, and whenever you post anything, it should be um, um, uh, uh, meta descriptions. It should be the uh, website should be dynamic. And the webmaster should have integrity. There are so many webmasters out there that are charlatans. They just come in and collect everything you give to them and go and sell to other people. Please be very, very careful. And then, of course, you are, uh, say, talk about the right tools. Your web, uh, website must also be optimized for SEO, search engine optimization. All right? So, website is a critical issue. That's point number seven. Let's jump to point number eight. Launch your YouTube channel. I just know how I just came up with YouTube channel, but I want to tell you that in the past uh, past uh, few months, I've come to the reali realization that one of the most powerful channels is YouTube. One of the most powerful channels. I've seen people that have achieved a lot of success online and they uh, uh, exploited YouTube. And YouTube is very, very easy. When once you understand the algorithm on YouTube, the algorithm will be out there to help you. So also the right approach, right tools, right personnel. Let people, let pay somebody that knows how to do it. This is really where you need tutelage. And the tutelage is right on YouTube. Go to, go to YouTube and start um, studying and watching videos upon videos upon videos upon videos. And you, 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 before you know it, you learn, you know how to use YouTube. I, I was amazed. I was amazed recently when I started to really study YouTube. And I found out that even though I have more than 100 videos on YouTube, my, I did not have up to even 100, uh, 100 subscribers. So I was wondering. And then I started studying people that had 1 million, 2 million, 500,000 subscribers. And I realized that I did not even start. I did not even start. I did not even know my left or my right. I was just putting videos there, putting video, hoping that, uh, yes, that is why having a coach is very, very important. That's why, I have, that's why having a mentor is very, very important. That is why having training is very, very important. Do not do it alone. If I had someone to coach me, someone to guide me, someone to direct me when I was posting on YouTube, I'm talking about more than five years ago when I started posting on YouTube. By now, maybe I would have had more than uh, 10,000 subscribers, at least 10,000. I mean, if people have 1 million, 2.9, Ali Abdal has 2.9, Vanessa Lau has 5,500. Uh, Gillian Perkins, she has 590,000, 590,000. 590, yes, 590,000. Vanessa Lau has 540,000. Ali Abdal, which I've shared with members of IBMC, has 2.9 million subscribers. So in more than five years, I do not have up to 100 subscribers. What does that tell me? Because I was not, I don't know what I was doing. I was just there. I was just there posting videos on YouTube and the algorithm did not even recognize I existed. Okay, I'm not in existence. So that's what it is. Right approach, right tools, right personnel. Then create your signature product. Don't forget, we have already talked in, I think, uh, step three or step four, that you need to create a product where we talk many, uh, your minimum viable product, your entry level product. Your signature product is also, also called pillar product. This is your main product that you can sell for up to $500, $1,000. It doesn't necessarily have to be more than uh, uh, 100, uh, 200, or 50 videos. I've seen people uh, producing up to 22 videos, 24 videos, 40 videos. This, as a trainer, this is a, a short recipe for overwhelming your students because most of the people that are coming uh, into training, they are technicians, they are technicians, they are subject matter experts, they are not trainers. That's why you have so, you don't have necessarily have to have 40 or video, 50 uh, modules in, a, in, in one course, but your course should be such, it should be such, a, a, should reflect such understanding, deep, depth of understanding that takes your students further than just your entry level product. Don't forget, entry level product is just to show one or two things. Okay, so your signature product should be very, very, uh, should be where it should, should have depth and breadth and should add more value to your customers. Again, right approach, right tools, 
guys from somewhere else. You must look for people that have already done it and get mentorship and get coaching. And so do not just say, that, okay, let me, I have attended six weeks uh, or eight weeks or 10 weeks of uh, IBMC. Therefore, I'm ready. I can do that. No. Six weeks, eight weeks is too, is it, it, rather short. So you still need to get learning, get learning. Don't forget, we said that the key is consistency. The key is consistency. And do not just uh, sit down in one place, hoping that, uh, again, that miracle will happen. No, miracle will not happen. Keep learning. All right? So let's move to point number 10, create sales funnels. This is where we say rubber meets the road. Don't forget step seven in internet business success formula is scaling. Scaling, yes. Doing the, adopting the right strategies to win big, to win long term. Is That's what we talk about, scaling. What do you need to scale? You need funnels to scale, sales funnels. Sales funnels, uh, I just say, a, a, a course on sales for them, which I did not. It's just it's a process where you take customers from point one to point two, through where they buy your product. First is to create awareness about your product and create awareness, create awareness along the line. You they, they, they start making they consider your product along the line. They decide to buy your product. They take action. So uh, awareness, uh, consideration, and action. So. It is a process, even though we try to depict it with a typical funnel. You know, the funnel is white at the top and narrow at the bottom. You pour water through the funnel. So it's just a, met a metaphor for how these things are done. It's a process. It's a process, a system where you put customers, you bring in customers, you attract customers. You are, they're not even customers at that point in time. They're just uh, visitors to your website, visitors to uh, I mean, people that just stumble on what you do, and they could be hooked. And then you, you further give them, by the time you give them more value, they listen to you on YouTube. They see what you post on Facebook. They, see, they go to your website and they will say, ah, I would like to follow this guy. And because of that, the, 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 the more they stay with you, the more you add value to them. And then the, 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 the deeper they go into the funnel. And then, so you have the top of the funnel, middle of the funnel, and bottom of the funnel. It's towards the bottom of the funnel that you sell, depending on where the customer is on his or her journey, all right? So, the customer will not buy from you from day one. The customer will be just watching you, uh, following you, tracking what you do to really say that you have his or her uh, interest, upper mind in your account. That is how it works, okay? So, that uh, sales funnel is where you really scale, and your funnel must be evergreen. If a green funnel, it requires a lot of technical ability to do it. It requires a lot of technical ability, and there are people that specialize in creating funnels for other people. And then, okay, that's why I said 10 plus 1. So, plus 1 is number 11. We should talk about the tools. What are the video tools? Because videos are the most uh, popular uh, format in, in uh, these days online. So, camera and uh, phone camera, you can use video tools, screen capture, uh, video editing, the website, mailing system. And course hosting. These are all the things you need in terms of tools. The camera, the phone camera, video capture, a screen capture, Camtasia, Loom, Loom. There are many other ones there. Jump cards in terms of video editing, Lightworks, Jump card, website. If you are the technical person, you can develop your website with Squarespace and their Wix. And then there's another one called Weebly. And then mailing system. We talk about um, uh, our friend Mail uh, Mailchimp, MailerLite. Convert kids. Mailer doesn't like to uh, admit Nigerians for whatever reason. And then course hosting, Teachable, and Monza. So this will be the end of this presentation until we meet again in another course in the series, the 10 Things series. Bye for now.